reacting to the raids on Sean Diddy Combs' homes due to lawsuits, Aubrey O'Day said, What you sow, you shall reap. Gannity Kane's Aubrey O'Day is coming out following federal officials raiding the houses of her former record label boss, Sean Diddy Combs, in the midst of numerous ongoing cases alleging sexual assault against the rapper. The artist and reality TV star posted a headline on her Instagram story on Monday regarding Combs' house raids. Combs established the female group Danity Kane which O'Day rose to popularity as a member of. What you sow, you shall reap, O'Day wrote on MTV's Making the Band. I pray this emboldens all of U.S. victims to finally speak on what we have endured, continued the 40-year-old star, who then shared a video of Tupac Shakur dancing to her Instagram story and wrote, There is no too soon on this one, just too late. On Tuesday, an attorney for Combs, 54, likened the raids to a witch hunt and maintained his client's innocence. O'Day also reacted to news of Combs' private jet landing leaving California for Antigua during the home raid, which comes amid sex trafficking allegations against the Bad Boy Records founder. I've been telling you this for the past 20 years, with respect, but has nobody listened? No, she posted on her Instagram story. She then shared a few video from Making the Band in which she and Combs are seen resolving conflicts. After forming on the third iteration of Making the Band in 2005, Danity Kane, which at the time included O'Day, Andrea Fimbers, Winita D. Woods Woodgett, Shannon Becks, and Don Richard, signed to Bad Boy Records.